Today on the channel, we're going to talk about big power, large batteries, and how to charge them on a budget. I have a brand new charger that came into me from Jen's Ace Tattoo. It's called the TA-1000, and it is a 1000 watt LiPo charger. It's dedicated storage and charge charger. It is meant to be a bench charger, something that you can use in your shop or in your business for your industrial and commercial size batteries. Now it also has a technology on there called G-Tech. And some of you guys might not have heard of that, but it's pretty cool because once you plug in the balance port into the front port right here, it automatically detects what size battery that is. And it gives you all kinds of data and telemetry when you're charging your LiPo, which is pretty nice. It also has some built-in safeguards to keep your batteries safe and cool during the charge process. The TA-1000 comes in at $259 also, which is, I think is a pretty good price for a commercial industrial size LiPo charger. And something with 1000 watt and 25 amp per channel charging is pretty beasty at that size for that price. If you're looking to charge five inch FPV racing and freestyle drone type of batteries, you wanna look at something with an XT60 port on there, such as the Hoda D6 Duo Pro with the dual chargers up front, or the quad charger from Toolkit RC, which is the Q6AC. And I've talked about both of these chargers on the channel for years. But today, if you are in the realm of much larger 5,000 milliamp all the way up to 22,000 milliamp batteries for your larger multi-rotors and fixed wing drones, this will be a great charger because it's just a little more money than something like the Q6AC from Toolkit RC, which is pretty amazing. But let me give you a quick rundown of what the TA-1000 is all about. Let me show you around the charger itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at it a little closer. If you're still with me at this point, you're probably interested in learning about this charger. So I'm gonna show you some basic stuff about it. It is very basic to set up and just start charging a battery. It's almost like stupid easy. Um, so there's only four buttons on the front for navigation into the menus, which I'm gonna show you in a sec. It has a power button here, which when you turn it off, it does actually want to turn on the fans quite hard. So I'm just gonna turn it off for a second and power it up. You may be able to hear the fans in this, the load up screen. It's checking the hardware and the software and all of the internals. That's nice for every single startup. It does an internal hardware and software check to make sure that things are safe before you start charging these large batteries. Now on the front, from side to side, it looks like this charge is about seven inches and a quarter. I mean, for an industrial charger, again, it's pretty small. On the side, from the very tallest part of the charger, it's three and three fourths inches tall. So it's almost four inches tall. And from the front at the lowest point, it looks like it's two and three quarters tall. And if you're on the job site, this is kind of cool for carrying it around and just picking it up quickly and put it inside your van or your truck. On the very front, we have two ports for charging two batteries at once. Or if you want to use a parallel breakout board, you can also do that and charge up to six different batteries at once. You would have to find an XT90 style breakout board or convert these down to XT60 if you're doing multiple XT60 type of batteries at once, that is an option if you wanna use a converter. And over here, you see this gold post sticking out right here. This right here is what is known as G-Tech, and that's a technology by Tattoo that they made up that's an intelligent battery monitoring and telemetry option for charging your LiPo batteries or storage charging them. It gives you real-time analysis of the battery inside the battery charger to make sure that everything is operational and safe for all of your different LiPo cells. And the much larger batteries that Tattoo makes does support G-Tech. But don't worry if you have a whole bunch of batteries in your business that are not G-Tech, it does support non-G-Tech style balance port connectors. So don't worry about that. You can just plug it in just like you would your regular balance lead and your XT90 right here, and you're good to go to start charging. Now I'm gonna walk you through how we set up a battery to charge. Everything is plugged in properly, and you can see a few different things here. You can see channel A on this side, channel B here, tattoo here, the charge rate, which right now is currently set to 16 amp. It is set to charge and it is set to LiPo. You can change it from LiPo to LiHV. So it does support those two types of batteries. 
but it does not do Lion packs, which I wish it would. Over here is the current charge channel status, and they are both set to idle right now. Once this fires up, you'll see charging, and you'll see how much battery you have to go before you're at 100% here by four bars. We have 23.2 volt here. This was a brand new battery, so it's never been charged. We have the current amp, and it goes across the board there the VDIF and the capacity there for the milliamps that we've put into the charger. So navigating the menu buttons, it's pretty simple. Current settings up top, the mode and type of battery down bottom, channel A, channel B, and let's go ahead and hit the current setting. You can change that to 22 amp, 25 amp, 2 amp, 5 amp, 10 amp, 16 amp so let's set this one to about 5 amp right there because this is a 6s 5000 milliamp battery and now we know it's on channel a so when we press channel a we get a little more information here for more telemetry on the battery charge each individual cell status for the voltage and over on this side this is channel b here now i'm back on the main screen here and if i want to go ahead and start charging on channel a i have my battery all set up there i can long press and it will start to charge now you can see here that the battery is charging it gives us a percentage here we're charging a lipo it is 23.5 volt currently 5 amp it is 41 mv and 17 milliamp, 18 milliamp put into it. And if you want more information on this, you can click on channel A and it will take you inside the charge screen and show you individual cell voltage. Press the button again for a little more info and back to the main screen. Now it's been charging for about five minutes and it's already up to a 70% charge. If I wanna stop this, I can long press again on this side on channel A and that will stop the charge process and also stop the fan. What I noticed mostly about this charger is it charges my much larger batteries much quicker than my smaller chargers. If you know that you're not gonna use your large commercial or industrial sized UAV battery and you want to storage charge it, that's also pretty simple. There's only one button for mode right here and that changes it from charge to storage and that will discharge this battery and put it safe voltage range for storing in a cabinet somewhere. Uh, I do suggest storing these types of uh, batteries in a fire safe style cabinet if you are using much larger sized batteries for industrial and commercial use. Now storage is set, now I can long press here and I can automatically start to discharge this battery back down to the nominal voltage for storage. And that same button's also used for the type of battery that you're charging. This one is a standard LiPo that we have here, but if I wanna change it to LIHV, I long press on the mode and type button, and that changes it to LIHV right there underneath storage. And I momentarily press it, go back to charge, momentarily press it to go back to storage, and again, long press to change the battery type. It's pretty simple. So again, the whole point of this charger is to be a budget, economically priced charger for startups. If you're just getting into the UAV industry and you're looking to start out on a budget and you're not looking to spend $1,000 to $2,000 on a commercial battery-sized LiPo charger with all the bells and whistles that you're not even going to use in the beginning, this is a good one to start with. And in my opinion, a better one to start with because it does have G-Tech technology on there. Uh, it also, by the way, does ship from the United States. So if you're looking for something that ships in the United States, it's also under warranty in the United States. So if something goes wrong with yours, you can contact Jan Zace on the website, give them your information about the problem that you had with your charger, and your new warrantied charger will ship from the United States warehouse. So even if you buy one brand new, they have a US warehouse, which I think is great these days that we don't have to wait like one to two months from China uh, on the slow boat to get to you here in the United States. So that is a very good thing for us these days. But again, I appreciate you watching. If you want more drone news and tutorials and a, a close look at what's new coming out in the drones and UAV market, please do subscribe and like this video so that others can find it. And again, guys, take care. I'm Justin Davis, and I will see you on the next one.